Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and I think this is something that you guys may enjoy. Now, I'm messing with the microphone a little bit here. I'm trying something a little bit different. As you guys can see, there is no face game here, okay? We're going to try something a little bit different. Now, as you know, uh, YouTube is pretty ridiculous about their copyright stuff. Not even YouTube. NFL, okay? The NFL is crazy. As soon as you post a video with any kind of content from the NFL, pop copyright claim. It's like, really, man? You didn't even get to do nothing. So here's what we're going to do today. Yes, I'm going to be reacting, but no, I'm not going to be watching it, okay? Because if we watch it, I know I'm getting that copyright strike, so I ain't even going to mess with that because you guys may not know, but you get three of those, your channel is gone. So what I'm going to do is really flip through, um, find some screenshots, and talk about, really break down what happened and what we need to see more and what we need to see less of, I guess you could say, in week two versus the Chargers, okay? So I think this is a good way to break it down. So right here, you can see this is the start of the game. This is a run to carry on Johnson, all right? So there's going to be a lot of cutting most likely in this video because I'm going to have to cut through and find parts right um that aren't video because if it, the video starts playing then you know how that is we're doing this pistol formation this is something that we didn't see tons of i think we saw a little bit out of the screens we did some screens like that through jim bob cooter but i love this okay i like the mix here you'll see throughout this entire game we did a lot of mixing and right here you can see we have the big guys right we had these guys closing in and we have that one weapon one-on-one -on -one. this is where kenny galladay can make can make uh make a break a lot of big plays right he can make a lot of big plays out of this because there's a lot of options with that play action especially once you get them believing Karen's gonna get the ball now you can see here they have one set safety back and they're most likely playing man right that's why he's pressing up so it's really man and then you have one safety and that can be tough especially on these long routes so if Stafford can get that out there on a play action he bumps forward one step because he thinks the run bop that's a one-on-one -on -one for a deep play and I think that's what the Lions are gonna try to take advantage of throughout uh the rest of the season as they can get the defense believing in this so as you can see yes our lines are going to run the ball you can see this uh three down lineman we have a couple guys looking off the edge here they're setting up in uh what looks like kind of a three four type of defense you know you got the two four linebackers throughout here and these two guys are playing on the edge so they're really shutting down the edge and that makes sense when you have this and that okay now for the lions if you're going to throw this ball as we know our tackles have struggled so this is where problems occur right because if you're throwing this your tackles are struggling. These guys are Suggs. You got Jan Jones, those guys. I can't exactly tell who they are from this. Most likely that's who they are. They're getting pressure on our tackles. So you'll see we hand it off to Carrion Johnson. Nice gain, okay? So we'll just go to this next play. You can see we get a nice gain. And the defense here is playing once again at a very similar 3-4. And like we knew before coming to the game, this was the new defense that they were bringing in with that new Broncos uh, coach defensively, the new defense coordinator. And he was going to bring in this 3-4 type of defense. Now for the Lions here, um, they're going to throw the ball, right? I mean, it, you know, they're going to throw the ball. They're not going to run it here. That wouldn't make sense. As you can see, they throw the ball. And what you can see is you can see this is a free rusher. Now, why is this a free rusher, right? Because we have CJ Anderson taking this away. CJ Anderson doing his job. He's taking away the edge. But this man should not be free rushing. So almost you would think CJ should take this guy first. Why would CJ go to the outside here? Okay, that's a big question for me. They're blitzing, right? Stafford can't always tell that before the play. It's hard to tell that. That's why defense is disguise stuff. But they're blitzing, okay? So you got your three down linemen who are obviously coming versus one, two, three, four, five offensive linemen. Now all these guys are going out. As we know, CJ Anderson stays back to hit that, hit that block right here. He hits the block here. So you got three down linemen and you have five guys coming. You should be able to pick this up. Now, where's the problem? It lies right here in the interior. Okay, so even though these interior guys didn't seem to be the problem, you know, it was Taylor Decker, the tackles, this was a problem. And now I don't know if this was set up by the Lions to tell CJ, hey, go take this outside guy because he's a great rusher. Uh, but you'll see here, it, it, it causes problems when you do that. You can see he's hitting Stafford at this frame. Right here, bop. Okay, so we screwed set a little bit ahead. So CJ Anderson goes out to take this. You're going to have one man free. Why? Because we're double teaming this guy. This man is being double teamed, which leaves five offensive linemen. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. Off we have two guys on this man. Five offense linemen and CJ Anderson on another edge rusher. And we're leaving the middle completely free. Now, I don't know what the Lions game plan was here, but that's a breakdown in my eyes. One of these guys has to take this man. So he, he runs right through the middle. And like I said, we had this a couple of times where they would get right through the middle. And that's not, that ain't going to help us win games, okay? See Stafford getting pushed. He's just going to fire this out there. I believe this was an incomplete pass. And that's when we brought out the fuel unit, right? Only three, nothing. I don't think we can do it. Let me scroll back a little bit. Let's see what happens here. We punt it. Okay, this is where we punt it. Right. Okay, we punt it. We don't, this wasn't a field. Now, yet. defensively, you can see this man broke through very quickly. The defensive line was getting blocked like crazy. Okay, I'm going to give a little credit to this offensive line for the Cardinals. But what you can see here by just looking at it simply, Tavai is one of those guys you can see as an edge rusher. And then we have one, two, three, four. We have four down linemen, and we have this man. This is a cornerback. I believe that's Justin Coleman versus one, two, three, four, five offensive linemen after the five. And then you got your two tight ends. So you have five offensive linemen, two tight ends. They were definitely looking for the run here, and you got these two guys. These guys are manned up, okay? They did good cornerbacks-wise, at least early in the game. You can see it leads to the Lions getting a big stop. Now, why did that happen? Well, it's because this man got through. 
because our linebackers got through, okay? They, they blew up the hole, and that was huge, okay? So our defense early started off fine. Now, what was the difference? You can see here, they're blowing this up. Why? Because they're sending blitzers. You're sending linebackers that they have to account for, which they can't. When you do that, this defensive line can account for everything else, and that's what they're focused on, and that's where you get big plays. So we get to stop in the backfield, boom. Now he's got it. And again, back in that strange defense, right? They're really flattening out their defense. You can see a lot of linebackers are mixed in here because of that speed. Stafford's got it. He's in the. He's going to have to look quickly, right? Because it's third and four, and that's that's really when you want to blitz. You want to blitz on third downs, right? Because it's, it can be hard for the offense. So here you'll see spread out. They are spread out like crazy, and this is this gave the offense lineman problems. They realized early the tackles were the weak spot. I think they did early from the twenty-one yard line. Now actually, we ended up. I think this is where Stafford drew them off sides on fourth down, but we don't get this first. And if it wasn't for Stafford doing his thing and drop him off sides, we kick a field goal here and we're only up 13. So this is big. Okay, you're seeing our offensive linemen. One, two, three, four, five. Our five offensive linemen, and we put the two tight ends here. And we're also putting this man here to block. And we have one wide receiver in Galladay. So it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious we're running the ball, right? I mean, this is one where you can throw it out of it because you could mix up the defense a little bit. But you can see they crash in, and we don't block well. Okay, they're crashing this middle right here. This left, this left side of the offensive line is where the problem. You have Decker over here struggling like what is this decker what are you doing my guy all right we have doll who's inside here this is going to leave a matchup nightmare right here right through the middle and this leaves it on this fullback to make a play right he has to pick that up and when he doesn't they try to go left bop it's over okay so offensive line was a problem offensive line was definitely a problem when you watch it back you can tell the offensive line has a lot of work to do five offensive linemen you have no extra tight ends here to block and that's good if you can because look this is where big plays happen you have one two three four maybe five options for Stafford Stafford that's a problem defensively okay so that's what they do so they're bringing this right they got the three down lineman and they also have it looks like Chandler Jones on the bottom there so they're coming in hot and Stafford does his thing to roll out and as we know that's what Stafford does really really well so as Stafford rolls out as you can see Anderson's gonna hop over here to help out who Taylor Decker okay so he was getting help they, they realized pretty early that we need to help him and that's something that I didn't really realize during the game but you can see CJ Anderson then comes out right so CJ Anderson comes out Oops, let me I went back too far CJ comes out for a route and that means Taylor Decker once again struggling with his man Jones has absolutely ate him up he's going right by and this is leaving Stafford in a situation where he has to get out of there Stafford realizes now we're double teaming here um because they're bringing out too many guys uh we have five offensive linemen versus their four so we can double team somebody now, with CJ Anderson going out on a third and 14, which to me, I guess you can do it. it but it means Stafford has to scramble. And as we know, Stafford does really well. That was the result right there. Um, but he scrambles. And this is where Stafford is at his best, right? This is where defenses lose track of guys. Stafford did his thing. Touchdown, TJ. And, uh, you know, we get that big lead. And then defensively, the wheels start coming off. And here is a perfect example. You saw early in the game the defensive... We were blitzing defensively. And I know some of you guys understand that this is what we need to do. We need to do this more often. We got him in a third and 14 situation. Okay. Third and 14. You should get a stop here. And then boom. All right. So they bring these linebackers, right? But even though you think you're blitzing, you're only bringing two defensive. You're only bringing a few guys in. You're not really blitzing here. And everyone else is playing man, right? So you're playing man. He's waiting on Larry. And I think this is Slay at the bottom. So, or Slay at the top. It's, he's one of the two. Don't worry about him. He did his thing. The outside guys did their thing. But it's here. It's Larry that we have to watch. He's playing off of him, right? I mean, he gets absolutely burnt. You can tell. I mean, he's got a step on this man. He nearly, he basically waited for him. And I think that was a problem, right? Tracy Walker, you have your safety. So Tracy Walker being a safety is not one of those guys that want to be up on that. Automatically, this is a mistake. There's no reason the Lions have Tracy Walker on the best wide receiver for the Cardinals. And he really did perk that comeback, right? Larry Fitzgerald was huge. It's a good play. Offensively, third and six. What did they do that we didn't? They're bringing the heat, and we could not protect. Decker, wa Decker, watch that man. One, two, three, four, five, six guys against five offensive linemen. Now, it's a third and six. This is different than what we did earlier, right? We're not helping. There's no tight end to help the tackle, so he has to play his job. There's no tight end on the other side, and there's no running back to help out and block. Instead, we have CJ at the bottom here because we didn't have a lot of wide receivers activated. So you have five options. All right, let's see how this goes. You will see how this goes. Yeah, that's what happens. I mean, Taylor Decker, we said he struggled. It doesn't matter if you're Jesus. You're not block. I mean, if you're Jesus, you might be able to. But that's basically it. That's basically it here. This is a problem. So they take the inside away, right? This. I mean, why is this a thing? Why is Decker 
on two guys. I, I don't, I don't understand. Right? And you know why? Because we're blitzing. And we don't have, in this position, in this play call, we don't have an extra guy to help out. So it's basically Stafford, get the ball out of your hands quickly. They're guarding the sticks, okay? I'm mad and they're playing the sticks. That's where the problem occurs. They're bringing an extra guy, and we have no one back to help, and Stafford has to do that. Stafford just has to flip it out there because he's got no time. Stafford's going to wait for this. No, our offensive line is... You can't. You get The offensive line is not good enough to even hold off for that long. Offensive line... I can't even always blame that on you. Now, I think you should be better. You just got to hit it a little bit, but they came right through. I mean, that's six versus five. Simple math. That's going to be a problem. Lions, explain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven guys in the secondary and four blitzing. Talk about not playing back. We're playing back. This is the example of playing back. Y'all saw we're in the game. We're blitzing. Why are we doing this? Okay. And we're not even blitzing with defensive linemen here. These are linebackers. All right. And look how this goes. These aren't Chandler Jones. It's a pocket. It's a clean pocket. You're hoping for Kennard to get off the edge. Props to Kennard. He did his thing. But this is, cannot happen, Lions. This is why we have problems. We basically said here, take the crossing routes. And you can't do that. Once again, prime example. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's in no man's land. In no man's land. And look. Look where Kyler Murray is. He's near nobody. This is automatically a problem. This is a problem from the jump. All right, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing here. And I'm not blasting on Patricia because Patricia is amazing. I know what he's doing. But look, defensively, man, if you're going to drop everybody back, you have to cover. I mean, I don't. That's what Patricia did last year, and we didn't cover well. Now I'm going to give him credit. I'm going to understand it's the first game. But he rolls out. And again, linebacker, he's slow to this. He's going to beat you if he runs here because you have a linebacker trying to chase a slot wide receiver. He's, he's got to step on him. There's probably a safety over top. And this is wide open. I mean, this is absolutely wide. It doesn't get more open than this. I don't know if he's playing a deep blue or what, but he's backing up. And that's there. And basically, if they're playing the zone that I believe they're playing, this man is in charge of both of this. He's got to let him go and take this away. He's got to. This happens. All right, who are we taking away here, guys? What, what is this? Defensively, I'm, I'm not sure what the secondary is doing here. You, like, this guy is literally not getting covered at all. And look who catches it, huh? It's disappointing. I, I don't... This is a problem. Why is he so far behind? Why is he... He's not going to catch him. This guy is uncovered. And then you're just taking away Fitz. Which is a crossing route. He's not going to catch him. You are not going to catch him. Kyler Murray had this. But he's not going to catch him. Alright, so let's back up and let's see where this went wrong. 52. That's Christian Jones. Maybe we get that edge. Let's get a little bit ahead little bit ahead these they they're forcing the block to the right which leaves this guy wide open and it's merely against him so you're basically running a spy here all right but the secondary is where the problem lies this man starts here and he's trying to chase the slot that's not gonna work and this man is spying so he's not gonna go at him this is the problem this is a big big problem and that leaves a dot that leaves a dot okay so they're marching down the field they score a touchdown i all know about this timeout has been called Stafford is now coming out back in the third down situation. Do you guys see what I'm seeing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven versus four. So this means that if he's blitzing, which he probably is, you got to get something quick. You got to get crossing routes because they're not going to be there. You got to get something quick. What, what play is this? What play design is this? I don't understand what, what, what the expectation was here. What is the... I don't understand what the play call is here. I, I honestly don't. We pick up the boots pretty well because we have Hawkinson back. This guy's free, so Stafford... Stafford's got no time. They brought so many guys. You're bringing seven guys. Stafford has no time. It's one... He's going directly at him. Stafford's not Kyle Murray. He ain't juking him out. Why is every route going deep here? Are you looking for this? Is this, is this the game plan? On third and five with 240 to go, you need a first down to put it away. They have no timeouts. And your decision is bomb it? Why is that a decision? I don't understand what the Lions are doing here. I don't I don't understand the play call here. At least have one player going short. There is nobody, nobody running near the first down mark. No one even giving you that option to dump it off. You're going everybody deep, and they're not even separated. They're right next to each other. Stafford's play was way better than this. I don't understand what we're doing here. 
your plays on third and five. I get it. Take shots. But don't take a shot when you need the first down to win it. This is a this is a bad play call. I don't understand why we played why we did this play call. And Stafford's upset, which he should be. Here we got the block punt. One, two, three, four. We're playing back. That means seven guys in secondary. This should not be a completion. It's third and seven. There is no reason they pick up a first down here. He's taken away. He's taken away. Because that's big play slay, I believe. This is what you have. You have him trying to fit in here if he does. Your linebacker takes that away. He's got that. He's got that. What happens? Why does this? Why do we give up a first here? Why is Agnew? Not only did he struggle to play in the kick return game, but Agnew, big play. This is huge. This third and dude, that's the third down. You can't give that up. And we are giving up play on top of play. Okay. This is this is what the problem. This is where the problem lies defensively. These are not bad play calls necessarily. We're playing back. But if you are playing back, you have to rely on your corners, and we couldn't. Imani, I would have loved to see him. But I think one prop, one thing we probably should have done, if you can't rely on these guys, you have to at least blitz them. Because that's what was working earlier. It wasn't like they magically just stopped being able to cover. We just stopped blitzing, and we relied on that cut secondary, and they didn't step up. That, um, I guess, yeah. So thank you, Prop, for watching.